September 10, 1960, Mickey Mantle unloads a cannon shot clearing the Wrightfield roof in Detroit and landing in Brooks Lumberyard across Trumbull Avenue. In June 1985, Mantle's blow was retroactively measured at 643 feet and was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest home run in history. New research by National Baseball Hall of Fame overturned that estimate and instead gives the mark to a 575-foot blast by Babe Ruth hit on July 18, 1921, also in Detroit. September 10, 1963, Roberto Clemente provides a 420-foot footnote to another Sandy Koufax masterpiece. Clemente's fourth career home run off Sandy came off a slider, a pitch the Pirates didn't know Koufax had picked up in the last 10 days. Koufax shelved the slider for the rest of the night. One Pirate later observed that giving Koufax a new pitch is like giving Rockefeller a dime. Neither of them really needs it. September 10, 1999, the Red Sox trip the Yankees 3-1 as Pedro Martinez hurls an impressive one-hitter for his 21st victory of the year. Martinez strikes out 17 batters, the most Yankees ever fanned in a single game. September 10, 1918, players on both sides of the World Series threaten to strike out unless they are guaranteed $2,500 to the winners and $1,000 each for the losers. They back off, however, when they are told they will appear greedy while their countrymen are fighting a war. That was September 10th, This Day in Baseball.